Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O partially inscribed uh, in a green shaded rectangle A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these uh, points uh, F, G, and uh, H are our points of uh, tangency. And this uh, E, F uh, is the diameter. And furthermore, uh, these uh, two chords, uh, S, F, uh, and uh, T, F are uh, seven units uh, each. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, rectangle, A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, individual uh, rectangle, uh, this rectangle uh, APFD, and this uh, other rectangle uh, PBCF uh, are identical by the definition of the symmetry. So therefore, we conclude uh, that the rectangle uh, ABCD area, we are talking about this uh, whole uh, big uh, green rectangle a b c d area is going to be equal to two times the rectangle p b c f area we are talking about uh, this uh, individual uh, green uh, rectangle p b c f by the definition of uh, symmetry so therefore it is sufficient to calculate the area of the rectangle uh, p b c f and then we are going to multiply it out by two to get the area of the big rectangle ABCD. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, individual uh, rectangle PBCF. And here's our next step. I am going to connect uh, with this uh, center O and this point uh, H, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, O, H uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. So I'm going to label that one as lowercase r. And likewise, uh, this uh, O, F is the uh, radius uh, lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder uh, these angles uh, and these angles uh, are uh, 90 degrees each since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. And furthermore, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OH length uh, is equal to this segment uh, FC length. If this length is lowercase r, then this uh, FC segment length is going to be lowercase r as well. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, of this uh, individual uh, green rectangle turns out to be lowercase r. And here's our next step. I am going to label this segment uh, PT as uh, X and this uh, segment uh, OP as uh, Y. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, FPT. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 7. Our one of the legs uh, is uh, X. And this uh, other leg, uh, PF, is going to be Y plus R. So therefore, we can write... Uh, y plus uh, r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we're going to write down uh, x uh, square plus uh, y plus uh, r whole square equal to 7 square. And now let's recall the famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply this uh, identity on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore, we can write down uh, x square plus uh, y square plus 2 times uh, y r plus r square equals to 49 on the right hand side. And I'm going to label this equation as our equation number 1. 
and now we are going to connect this center O with this uh, point uh, T as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OPT and we can see this uh, OT is the radius uh, of this uh, circle so I'm going to label that one as uh, lowercase r and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here is our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, radius r and our two other legs are uh, x uh, and y let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we are going to write down uh, x square plus y square equals to r square and i'm going to label this one as our equation number two so therefore we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation one and equation two and now we can see from equation two our x square plus y square value is equal to r square and here in equation one we can see we got uh, x square plus y square so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, this x square plus y square by r square uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step and here we replace this uh, x square plus y square with uh, r square over here and now we are going to combine these uh, like terms so therefore we can write uh, 2 times uh, r square plus uh, 2 times uh, y r equals to 49 and now we are going to divide by 2 across uh, the board so therefore uh, we are ended up with uh, r square plus uh, y times uh, r equals to 49 divided by 2 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number 3 and now let's focus on this uh, rectangle p b c f and we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle p b c f and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times the width so therefore for this rectangle pbcf this uh, side uh, is our width uh, and this side is our length so therefore we can write down the rectangle pbcf area is going to be our dimension r times the other dimension is uh, y plus uh, r and if we distribute multiply that is going to give us uh, r square plus uh, y times uh, r so therefore the area of this rectangle pbcf is being represented by r square plus y times r and now let's focus on this uh, equation 3 we have already figured out the value of uh, r square plus y times r equals to 49 divided by 2 so therefore i'm going to substitute that value over here so therefore uh, the rectangle pbcf area turns out to be 49 uh, divided by 2 and now let's recall once again the factor the rectangle abcd area equals to 2 times uh, the rectangle uh, pbcf area and we already figured out our rectangle PBCF uh, area as 49 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this equation. So we got 2 times uh, 49 uh, divided by 2. So therefore that is going to give us uh, 49 uh, square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green rectangle ABCD turns out to be 49 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.